Hi, I'm Dr. Christina Dervatis, a gynecologist in Newmarket, Ontario, Canada. Welcome back to my channel, Talking IUC with Dr. D. In today's video, the theme is it takes two, and I'm gonna explain what I mean by that, uh, but I wanted to start off by uh, saying a hello to any male viewers out there. I think um, for the most part, uh, at the beginning when I launched this channel, uh, it was predominantly uh, females who were uh, tuning in for information, and in the last couple of weeks, I've actually gotten some comments from some male viewers, um, which is fantastic, and uh, really did remind me uh, uh, that um, I should do a video that emphasizes the fact that sexual health is a responsibility of both members of the partnership. Not just the female partner, but both male and female partner should be talking to one another and sharing the responsibility when it comes to se sexual health. Now, in terms of goals for sexual health, we have two goals. One is sexually transmitted infection or STI prevention. And then the second goal is preventing unplanned pregnancy. Um, so I've mentioned this in previous videos, um, but just wanted to again re-emphasize the fact that if you are in a new relationship, you need to be using condoms for STI prevention. The other contraceptive methods such as the IUD, the birth control pill, the shot, what have you, none of those things prevent STIs. If you are with a new partner, you need to be using condoms for STI prevention. Um, so we're talking about things like chlamydia, like gonorrhea, like HIV. Um, those uh, are still very real risks and you need to protect yourself. Now, in terms of uh, at what point uh, in a monogamous relationship uh, would a couple stop using condoms um, in terms of saying, okay, I think we're in the clear for STI risk. Uh, sometimes it may just involve a conversation about your uh, past sexual histories, uh, but more often and actually what I would recommend, couples are actually going to their family physicians or a sexual health clinic to actually have STI testing uh, formally done um, to show that they're in the clear uh, before that they before they decide to stop using condoms now the second theme uh, or the second uh, message from the it takes two theme of today's video is really to re-emphasize that there are two goals to sexual health STI prevention and pregnancy prevention and if you are someone who really really does not want an oops pregnancy that it would not be a happy surprise for some couples they might be planning more children and say oh well if it happens it happens but if uh, a pregnancy would not be a happy surprise if you really really don't want to get pregnant condoms are not good enough the failure rate of condoms is 18 percent in the real world and a lot of patients have absolutely no idea that the number is as high as that some uh, particularly in new couples, they, they've started to be, be sexually active. Um, you know, they sort of pat their, themselves on the back. We're being responsible. We're using condoms. That's great for preventing STIs. But in terms of pregnancy prevention, if you're relying on condoms alone, you're leaving yourself with an 18% chance of an unplanned pregnancy. So in addition to condoms for STI prevention, you need to be using something else to prevent pregnancy if you really, really don't want to be pregnant. Uh, and so of course, um, in previous videos, I've emphasized that intrauterine contraception or IUC is considered a first line or go-to option for contraception and preventing pregnancy because it has the lowest chance of pregnancy of the options available. Um, so a less than 1% chance of pregnancy again compared to an 18 percent chance of pregnancy with condoms now the birth control birth control pill uh, is another uh, potentially very effective option but in order for it to be most effective you have to take the pill every single day and people aren't robots sometimes they forget and that's part of why the failure rate of the birth control pill is as high as nine percent and again a lot of people are surprised by that number 
Uh, now in video number five, I go through um, all of the different contraceptive options or the most common ones and the different uh, failure rates. Uh, so again, I would refer you back to that, uh, that video for the numbers on uh, things like the pill, the shot, the patch, um, and so on and comparing the different types of IUDs. But the bottom line is, is that if you really, really don't want to get pregnant, uh, condoms on their own uh, are not good enough and you need to have a second option that you're using for pregnancy prevention. And so that's it for today's video. I hope it's been helpful. Uh, those are just a couple of really important messages that I wanted to reinforce. Um, I'll end today's video as I always do by reminding you that in less than the time uh, that it took for you to watch this video, you uh, or your female partner uh, could have had an IUD inserted. The whole thing takes about five minutes and provides up to five years of worry-free contraception. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.